Hi everyone, I'm glad you're here. Thank you very much for joining me. It is Thursday, March 6, 2025. Uh, yesterday afternoon, there was a magnitude 3.9 earthquake in the state of Washington uh, near Blinn, uh, Discovery Bay also, and we got Leland. This earthquake occurred um, at 4.18 p.m. local time, and it's close to the area of the Yakima Thrust Fold vault, Fault. And then we also got another fault. It might have been this fault here that I got drawn out in red. This is what's called the Lake Creek Fault. It may extend farther uh, than what I got shown. You can see the red line and we got an indentation. Um, probably the fault does go through here. Scientists are not in agreement about the largest uh, size earthquake that you could have in this location, anywhere between a magnitude 6 to 7. It was a deep earthquake about 26 miles in depth or 42 kilometers. 383 people said they felt this earthquake. And once again, a shake alert went out. I think they're really worried that the Cascadia subduction zone's got enough stress built up that it could rupture. I do have one monitor that I downloaded the data from. Uh, this earthquake probably was uh, closer to a 3.99. Um, yeah, almost a magnitude 4. Here's the seismic signature. Yeah, the monitor is quite a ways. Uh, from where the earthquake occurred. I only have one monitor. I'm going to have to try and find more that are in different locations throughout the straight, um, the state, excuse me. But this was all fault movement. Here's a map of the felt reports, but when I click on it, it don't work. Yeah, you can see here, nothing lit up. But we do have a report that was sent into EMSE about 44 miles. Um, there in Victoria, Canada. They said it was a quick jolt. Lots of swing. No loud noise with it. Reports that were posted on X, formerly known as Twitter. Oh no, another one. There's a whole lot of shaking going on. Uh, another one says my mom felt it in Port Orchard. Uh, they didn't feel it. This one in Madison County. Recently, there's been too many earthquakes. Definitely make me a little uneasy seeing these pop up every day, especially when we are due for one. Um, another one says, we didn't pay enough taxes to the state, obviously. Then it says the government doesn't want you to know a big one is coming. Um, this person was walking near Discovery Bay. They didn't feel it. Now, Discovery Bay, once again, is up over here to the northeast a little bit. This one says they felt it in Federal Way. Yeah, I don't know if this map that's posted to X will help you, but uh, we do have, looks like, two reports down by Olympia and Tacoma. And we already know it was felt in Vancouver. Here's a map of all the earthquakes they've had within the last 30 days. You can't see the entire uh, map here, but looks like there's been a swarm going on by Orcas. Yeah, look at them all. Let me zoom in. Okay. Uh, 48 within the last month, and then I'll go to seven days. Um, so they're all within the last week, and then within the last 24 hours, one it looks like, a magnitude 1.6. I did a report on that when they had the magnitude 4.5. That was on the third of this month. 11,352 people said they felt that earthquake. There's the location, and I believe I talked about how um, this newly discovered fault zone, I know I pronounced it wrong, um, Elk Lake Fault, we'll just call it for short and how it actually extends all the way out to the Cascadia subduction zone. And if I remember right, uh, this was close to when they had that earthquake in the 1700s, the uh, 
magnitude 9. Yeah, it is right there. Okay, there's the 4.7. I'll light that up for you. And this is the location of the 1700 earthquake. And I talked about um, there's been a lot of increase in earthquakes in this um, area of Washington and how all the hills and mountains have built up because of the subduction of the Juan de Fuca plate over here is the uh, the Cascadia subduction zone so if you do have a large one and they're saying that uh, this latest one uh, that fault zone is capable of having either a magnitude 6 or, or 7 but if they had a large one uh, which triggered the Cascadia subduction zone this whole entire area um, all the hills would suddenly drop as the uh, North American plate um, the tension is released and so the uh, North American plate would actually move west because you know right now we got the Pacific plate pushing up against um, yeah the North American plate so that's building the mountains and the hills because it's stuck so not only would your ground drop you would have a sudden motion going towards the west uh, magnitude 6 or um, a magnitude 7 would do a lot of damage you would have broken water lines gas lines um, maybe some of the infrastructure for cell phones and um, bridges and roads yeah um, you would have damage to things like that also I hope everyone is prepared are you prepared for a large one because there's been quite a few earthquakes and quite a few um, shake alerts sent out I think they know that something big is coming and they just don't want people to panic have e uh, ease of mind uh, um, yeah if you are prepared have you done things like that please put your information down below thank you for watching please like share and subscribe and I will talk to you later God bless y'all